Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Weapon XSJ. Uh, this is gonna be a quick little uh, my thoughts slash impressions slash review, I guess, video of whoops, <laughs> Resident Evil Five. Um, it's gonna be real quick. There's not gonna be any gameplay footage. I'm sorry. It's just gonna be a kind of a spiel. Um, me and my brother got this game on launch, uh, Friday the 13th. Um, we're playing co-op only, which for now, like I never played single player. I highly recommend. We had this idea when, it, when we first heard about. It, we both decided to get it. We both decided to play co-op only. We're not going to play the story unless the other one's there as well. So uh, we we set up times and we play. <clears throat> and as a co-op game, it's awesome. Um, it's really good sharing inventory and everything. I heard it kind of sucks with the AI partner because um, she won't combine her ammo and stuff. But with a real person, you're just like everyone can hold the max amount of things. Um, we distribute our weapons really well, like uh, I have a shotgun, the magnum, and a pistol. He's got a sniper rifle, an SMG, and a pistol. So we always have a lot of bullets because anytime SMG ammo pops up, I go, hey Billy, here's some of this, or I'll pick it up and I'll hand it to him because just handing stuff to each other through the inventory is pretty awesome. Like, it's really cool. I'll have a bunch of stuff for him. Like, even when we separate, I might find some SMG ammo, I'll pick it all up, and when we meet again, I'm like, hey man, look at this crap I found for you. There you go. And he's like, thank you. And it's like, it is really cool because for that reason, like you work together, the inventory system is really cool. Um, the shotgun is awesome just when they all come close to me and I've upgraded it and it's just like, I'm like, I'm like trying to blast them away with my pistol because I don't have any shells. I don't want to waste my shotgun shells. If I get too close, I'll just be like, ah, oh, F it. <laughs> they all fly back. Ah, oh, what the fuck? And uh, Billy just rules with the SMG. He's got the AK-74 right now. I don't know why it's not called AK-47. Is there such thing as AK-74? Who knows? He's just like... <laughs> Sniper rifle in the distance. He finds sh treasures. There's shiny things everywhere. Shoot down the shiny things. You pick it up. You can use it to sell stuff, buy upgrades later. Um, so, I don't know. It's been a pretty good experience so far. A lot of people complain about the uh, not-horror aspect of it, how it's more of an action game. and I'd have to agree with that. It definitely is more of an action game. And I do miss uh, the horror and stuff, although it is scary still, like visually, like not so much like tense the whole time, but I mean, when you get back and look at it, just how effed up all these zombies look, or infected, whatever you want to call them, they'll start flame war. <laughs> um, when you look at all this, it's like, it's still pretty, it's still pretty like weird, like the, when the first guy you see like change, his blood comes out of his eyes, it looks all effed up. Um, it's pretty awesome, but uh, or when you're shooting a zombie and you blow its head off, and some of them when you blow their head off they just die. Some of them when you blow their head off, this huge ass tentacle thing comes out of their head and it's just like, <laughs> and you're just like, what the fuck? And so then you start shooting this tentacle thing. It's disgusting. Um, voice acting's really good. Uh, the first human boss who turns into this big old kraken sea thing. Oh, there might be spoilers. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. Sorry. Um, he's got. He's, he's like a junkie, kind of. He seems like a junkie, and he's got really good voice acting. Um, everything else, uh, single player, again, I don't know how fun it would be, because I'm playing with my brother, who uh, lives in Washington. I live here in California. Um, and it's just a blast, because it feels like we're kids again, just playing on the couch, just playing like, all the Sega games. You guys saw my Sega review, they pull something out here, and we play this, I don't think we had this when we were kids, but we play two-player Sega games all the time on the couch. Um, and it just feels like that, and we're sitting on the headset, Xbox Live, we'd just be like, just walking along, we'd, we'd enter a room, he, he'd go one way, I'd go the other, we'd start busting up crates, like find some ammo, see what we can collect, all of a sudden something will happen, some guys will show up, and Billy's like, oh shit, there's some guys over here next to me, and I'll be like, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, Help him blow him away. Um, if I'm looking one direction, he happens to turn around. He's, he'd just be like, Motherfucker, they're behind you! He's just like, Holy shit, dude, they're behind you! And I'm like, What? I'm trying to shoot this way? And then I'll see him shooting this way, and he's just like blowing zombies off my back. They're, they're just about to eat me. But all of a sudden, <laughs> Billy's just shooting over my shoulder. It's like, Yo, thanks, bro! And it's like, yeah, I don't know, it's just like that. It's like, it's really fun. I'm having a good time with it. Um, uh, what else? Another, anything else negative? Uh, the loss of horror. The, the controls are a little clunky. You know, you can't move and shoot. A lot of people are saying that, and uh, that's only an issue because it's moved more to an action game. You know, it's moved more to to like a 
So, you know, Gears of War, like, uh, you know, shoot them up. But when you can't run and move and run and gun, it's kind of weird. But uh, it doesn't bother me too much because it does add to the difficulty in a weird way. But uh, it's just a different strategy. You have to run, turn around, place your shots, place your shots, place your shots. They get too close. You know, back up a little bit, place your shots some more, place your shots some more. Um, I haven't finished the game, so this isn't like a total review. We're, we got to be really close to the end, though, because uh, we've revealed a lot of plot. That's another thing, the plot. It's really good. There's lots of crap to read everywhere, and it'll uh, describe the different viruses, the T-virus, where it came from, where it all started. Um, Resident Evil, uh, like the Umbrella Corporation, like they had a research facility in Africa. Um, you see the flowers that they first started like extracting the thing from to make all the viruses. Um, and you read about every virus, even the current virus that's in Africa, like where it comes from, how the, how it's working, how, who it's infecting, um, how the people are supposed to react when they're infected. Um, and you, you'll read about specific things like the, the liquor. Who like you you read about it in this document about how they infected um, someone, and they turned into this like weird crawling monster with a huge tongue. They called it the liquor, of course. And then shortly after that, while you're playing the game, they'll show up. You're like, oh, that's the liquor that was in the uh, the document. I know about that. I know about that history. Um, so you read about all the viruses, um, it relates a lot to the other Resident Evils. Um, I haven't played them all, but if you go to GameTrailers.com, they have this retrospective, this Resident Evil retrospective. They did it with a lot of games. They did it with Zelda, which was awesome. It was an awesome retrospective. It's like a bunch of videos, um, and it kind of chronicles all the history, all the gameplay changes from game to game. Um, so I watched that, so I'm kind of versed in the history only because I watched that. So I recommend seeing that if you guys want to know the whole background. Because after playing this, you're like, man... What's this all about? They keep referencing all this crap. Albert Resker, um, the twins that got uh, the T virus infected into them, the G virus, what's that? Um, Chris Redfield, blah, blah, blah. Where'd he come from? What's Stars? What's the Stars unit? Albert Wesker, wasn't he part of the Stars unit? How come he's a bad guy? Blah, blah, blah. Lots of crap. Like, it's weird, convoluted, like, Metal Gear Solid. Like, you'll love the story, like, Metal Gear Solid. But uh, when you go back and look at it, you're like, that's a lot of shit to throw together. Like, how does this even make sense? So it's kind of like that. But, uh, overall, it's, I don't know, it's good. The graphics are out of the world, out of this world. Um, I like the reaction to, uh, body parts. I think, I, I always say this, John, James Bond on a N64 was, like, the first one that, like, wowed me big time. Because when you shot him in the leg, they'd go, ah! And, like, ah, my, my leg! Like, you'll see him when you shoot him in the arm, and they kind of react that way. Like, the, uh, bullet penetration on different body parts in this game, that's what it's all about. If they're running at you, shoot them in the leg, make them stumble. Um, shoot them in the leg and they'll stumble and you can run up to them and punch them. There's like, you want to use melee attacks too. Um, shoot them in the head, their head will fly off. They'll fly backwards. Shoot them in the chest with a shotgun, they're going to fly a couple feet back. Um, all the physics like that's really good. Alright, I'm probably going to wrap it up right now, but my review, Resident Evil, um, I'm not done with it yet, but I'm playing co-op only and it's a blast. Me and my brother are rocking through this game pretty quick. Um... We're probably going to finish it on Wednesday. Um, right now it's Monday, I think. But uh, I say pick it up. Uh, the loss of horror is not that... If you just accept that... Um, I do want the old Resident Evil back, but as a different series. Like, this is just... A, it's like a different game. Uh, more of an action game. Still scary in its own way. Um, but pick it up. Resident Evil 5. We would rather have a good time. This was my impressions. My review... Uh, tell you a little bit about the game. Uh, if you liked it, comment. If you liked it, subscribe. Check out my other videos. I just posted uh, Warcraft 101. I plan to do more of those. Um, really excited about that. If you're interested in the actual story of Warcraft, not just uh, buying, selling gold, and dancing with retards online. Um, that's it. Thank you very much. Resident Evil 5. It's a, it's a, it's a must-play, I think. I think so.